We all know that Arab royal families are not a modest bunch. However, when compared to the Al Nayan clan, who rule over the largest and wealthiest emirate in the UAE, the other Arab royal families seem like hermits searching for enlightenment. So, let's take a closer look at the trillionaire lifestyle of the Abu Dhabi royal family. The Al Nayan Wealth Okay, okay, the Al Nayan royal family are not actually trillionaires. Currently, the family's net worth is around $853 billion kept in one of the largest sovereign wealth funds in the entire world. In fact, only the Al Saud family of neighboring Saudi Arabia has a bigger wealth fund. The Al Nayan house, however, divides their wealth between far fewer people than their neighbors. Thus, the family lives one truly opulent and extravagant lifestyle, reserved only for the wealthiest of the ultra-rich. The family wasn't accustomed to such a lavish lifestyle since ancient times. Until 1959, Abu Dhabi was a desolate wasteland where nothing grew and people mainly survived on fishing and trade. In 1959, however, a large oil reserve was found under the territories of Abu Dhabi, and the entire country changed within a decade. Today, Abu Dhabi is one of the largest producers and exporters of oil. In addition, under the desolate landscape, there is a huge natural gas reserve, which increases the family's wealth even further. But that's not all. As we all know, oil and gas have their limits. With the entire world trying to go green, the Al Nayan family used the oil money to diversify their portfolio and invested heavily in holdings, properties, and assets in various sectors, so they could retain their lavish lifestyle long after the last drop of dinosaur juice had been extracted from the ground. They have made substantial investments in industries such as real estate, infrastructure development, banking, aviation, tourism, and healthcare. The family's sovereign wealth fund, known as the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, or ADIA, is one of the world's most significant sovereign wealth funds, with assets worth more than $853 billion. The lion's share, of course, goes to Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan and his two closest brothers. The ruler of Abu Dhabi alone has an estimated net worth of more than $30 billion. Still, his brother, Sheikh Tanaun bin Zayed Al Nayan, is also not far behind. Sheikh Tanaun is currently the head of the Abu Dhabi Development Holding Company, ADQ, operating with more than $159 billion. Moreover, he is the head of the first Abu Dhabi Bank and the UAE's National Security Advisory. So, as you can imagine, he doesn't beg in front of the local mosque every Friday. Currently, Sheikh Tanaun is worth $10 billion. Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayan, on the other hand, is the head of the ADUG, the family's fund for investments and innovations. Moreover, he's head of the Abu Dhabi Central Bank and the Emirates Investment Authority. Dealing with money seems to be Mansour's calling, as he managed to acquire the biggest fortune among the three brothers. Currently, Sheikh Mansour is worth nearly $40 billion. With such immense wealth, it's not surprising that the family lives lavishly. Every moment of their lives is filled with luxury and opulence. But of course, that doesn't come cheap. As famously, the family spends more than $1 million a day. Now that's what I call living large. Not like those poor schmucks who have only 100000 in their daily budget. But what do they spend this mind-altering sum on? Well, they spend it on the utmost luxury in every aspect of their lives. Let's have a look. Homes The Al Nayan family truly knows how to live like royals. As such, they opt for grandeur and luxury before anything, and the four astounding palaces they use as residences are proof. Perhaps the most notable display of the family's opulence is the Casa Al Watan Palace. Casa Al Watan, also known as the Presidential Palace or Palace of the Nation, is a cultural landmark located in Abu Dhabi, the capital city of the United Arab Emirates. It was inaugurated in 2017 
and symbolized the UAE's heritage, culture, and governance. It also serves as a reminder of how extremely rich the Abu Dhabi royal family actually is, as the palace itself costs more than $490 million and spreads across 2 million square feet. Casa al Watan is part of the larger presidential palace compound, which includes the official residences and offices of the UAE's president and vice president, as well as various governmental entities. While the palace complex primarily functions as a working palace and a venue for official government events, it is also open to the public as a cultural and educational attraction. Casa al Watan's exterior reflects the magnificence of traditional Islamic architecture. It pays homage to centuries old design principles while incorporating contemporary elements. Intricate geometric patterns adorn the palace walls, skillfully crafted by skilled artisans. Combined with arches and domes, these patterns create a visually stunning facade that invokes a sense of awe and admiration. The entrance of Casa al Watan is a testament to the palace's grandeur. Two massive arch doorways welcome visitors, adorned with intricate carvings that showcase the mastery of Islamic artistry. As one passes through these doors, they are immediately captivated by the immense scale of the palace, setting the stage for an unforgettable experience. Every aspect of Casa al Watan's exterior has been meticulously designed to exude elegance and opulence. Elaborate calligraphy, skillfully integrated into the architecture, adorns the walls with passages from the Quran and excerpts from the UAE's founding documents. These inscriptions celebrate the country's cultural heritage and emphasize the significance of governance in the nation's development. The interior of Casa al Watan, the presidential palace in Abu Dhabi, is a treasure trove of exquisite craftsmanship, opulent design, and cultural symbolism. Among the highlights of this gorgeous display of power and wealth is the House of Knowledge. It is a section of Casa al Watan that celebrates the UAE's intellectual heritage. It houses a vast library with an extensive collection of books and resources spanning various subjects, including science, culture, governance, and history. Visitors can explore the shelves, immerse themselves in knowledge, and appreciate the UAE's commitment to education and intellectual pursuits. The Great Hall serves as the centerpiece of Casa al Watan's interior. This magnificent space, with its high ceilings and grand proportions, is designed to accommodate large gatherings and official ceremonies. The hall features an impressive chandelier and a vast carpet weighing several tons, symbolizing the nation's grandeur and the importance of its events. Overall, the palace's interior boasts beautiful calligraphy adorning the walls, intricate mosaics, and traditional artwork that reflects the UAE's cultural and artistic heritage. The palace's design and decorations pay homage to Islamic art, incorporating elements such as geometric patterns, arabesques, and floral motifs. Since 2019, there have been guided tours of the palace. I guess the Al Nayan family wanted to show off. Along with this precious jewel, the Al Nayan family uses four other palaces in Abu Dhabi. Casa Al Hassan is a historic fort and palace located in Abu Dhabi, which served as the official residence of the Al Nayan family before the construction of more modern palaces. It has since been transformed into a museum and cultural site. Next, is the Al Mushrif Palace, one of the royal family's main residences. Finally, the family owns the Al Ain Palace, which was transformed into a museum after the passing of Abu Dhabi's first independent sheikh, Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan, the founding father of the UAE. It has been converted into a museum, showcasing the heritage and history of the Al Nayan family and the region. There is often confusion regarding the Emirates Palace. People consider it to be the royal family's primary residence. Residence. However, this extravagant display of ultra-luxury, costing around $3 billion, was not financed by the Emirates' royal family alone. Instead, it serves as an opulent hotel that various UAE royalties choose to stay at when conducting business in Abu Dhabi. A hotel that entirely belongs to the Al Nayan house is the Burj Al Khalifa, better known as the tallest building in the world. It's also known as one of the most exclusive hotels 
sales worldwide. Yes, the Al Nayan properties are impressive, but the family knows better than to put all their eggs in one basket. Thus, they expanded their investments abroad. The Royal International Investments the international portfolio of the Al Nayan family is said to be worth billions. But unfortunately, they are quite reserved in disclosing their properties publicly. Still, they have more than $7 billion worth of properties in the UK alone. Among them are the iconic Berkeley Square House, the Tilney House, and Ham Ridings. Most notable, however, is the Belgrave Square residence in London, United Kingdom. This luxurious property is the UAE ambassador's official residence and is considered a prime real estate asset. Additionally, the family is known to have invested in prestigious properties in other global cities, such as Paris, New York, and Geneva. These investments are often in residential properties, commercial buildings, and high-end hotels. Moreover, the Al Nayan family has been involved in various business ventures and investment funds worldwide. Probably the most well-known is the Manchester City Football Club. In 2008, Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayan started a movement that Qatar and the Saudi royal families soon followed. In 2008, Mansour bought the Premier League Manchester City for a mind-blowing, at the time, $250 million. Since then, Manchester City has entered the most prominent stage in their history. Until 2008, the football club had just two Premier League titles. After Mansour bought the club, it acquired seven trophies and became a global powerhouse. That was, however, just the first step. Today, the royal family owns 12 prime football teams with their city football group. The total assets of the group were estimated at $1.5 billion. Though the investments are a huge chunk of the $1 million daily budget, the Abu Dhabi royal family is not all work and no pay. Their ultra-luxurious lifestyle is anything but cheap. From buying a new lavish car every single day to traveling opulently on yachts and private jets, the Al Nayan truly know how to spend money in style. Cars The Al Nayan family's car collection spans several generations and is a captivating blend of classic and contemporary cars. From vintage Rolls Royces and Bentleys to cutting-edge hypercars like Bugatti Veyrons and Koenigseggs, their collection encompasses a wide range of automotive masterpieces. One of the crown jewels of their collection is the prestigious Mercedes-Benz 600 Pullman, a symbol of elegance and power. This magnificent limousine was once the preferred choice of heads of state and dignitaries, and its inclusion in the Al Nayan family's collection only adds to its allure. Another standout vehicle in their possession is the iconic Lamborghini Reventon. With only 20 units ever produced, this ultra-rare supercar features breathtaking design elements inspired by fighter jets, making it a true collector's item. Moreover, the Al Nayan family's car collection extends beyond luxury cars. They are also avid motorsports enthusiasts, with a lineup of high-performance racing cars, including Formula One machines and Le Mans prototypes. Their involvement in motorsports reflects their dedication to the pursuit of speed and adrenaline. However, none of these extravagant and expensive cars can come even close to the Rainbow Shakes car collection. The Rainbow Shakes car collection The Rainbow Shake, also known as Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayan, is a prominent member of the Al Nayan family from the United Arab Emirates. Revered for his extravagant lifestyle and impressive car collection, the Rainbow Shake has become a legend among car enthusiasts worldwide. What sets the Rainbow Shake's car collection apart is not only its sheer size, but also the unique and eye-catching modifications he has made to his vehicles. His collection includes an array 
array of luxury cars, supercars, and even custom-built vehicles that showcase his penchant for individuality and flamboyance. Among the standout vehicles in his collection is the famous Rainbow Mercedes, a custom-painted Mercedes-Benz S-Class that features vibrant colors of the rainbow adorning its exterior. This stunning display of colors perfectly reflects the Rainbow Shake's personality and his desire to stand out from the crowd. In addition to the Rainbow Mercedes, his collection includes other notable cars such as the Gulf Shake, a monstrous 8x8 off-road vehicle, and the Dodge Rainbow, a Dodge Charger adorned with a rainbow-themed paint job. The Rainbow Shake's car collection is not only a testament to his wealth and status, but also a reflection of his passion for cars and his desire to push the boundaries of automotive design. Each vehicle in his collection tells a unique story and captures the Rainbow Shake's flamboyant spirit, making his car collection truly one of a kind. And while the cars are impressive, they can't come even close to the divine luxury of the Al Nayan Private Jet Collection. Private Jets The Al Nayan Private Jet Fleet is nothing short of extraordinary. It boasts a remarkable variety of state-of-the-art aircraft, ranging from large, long-range jets to smaller, more agile models. Their collection includes renowned brands such as Airbus, Boeing, and Gulfstream, each customized to meet their exacting standards and preferences. MBZ's $450 million Boeing 747 is, without a doubt, the star of the show. Its interior is entirely decorated in gold and silver, with some jaw-dropping features. The plane can accommodate the entire family, but still, it has some space left for a state-of-the-art entertainment center, a private conference room, and an office. To top it all off, the plane boasts one truly amazing master bedroom, which was as if stolen from a seven-star hotel. MBZ has another more modest Boeing 787 Dreamliner, worth $180 million. The rest of the fleet is also immensely luxurious. These private jets are equipped with the latest advancements in aviation technology, ensuring maximum safety, efficiency, and comfort. Lavish interiors are adorned with exquisite materials, plush seating, and meticulous attention to detail providing an extravagant and exclusive flying experience. In addition, the aircrafts are equipped with cutting-edge entertainment systems, spacious cabins, and luxurious amenities to cater to the Al Nayan family's every need. Notably, these private jets are not only reserved for the family's personal use, but also play a crucial role in their philanthropic endeavors and diplomatic missions. They facilitate rapid and discreet travel for the family's members and allow them to extend their influence and goodwill beyond borders. And while the sky's the limit with these planes, they are far from the most luxurious way to travel in the Al Nayan family's arsenal. Yachts the Al Nayan family owns at least a dozen ultra-luxurious yachts. Each one exudes elegance and grandeur. These magnificent yachts are equipped with state-of-the-art amenities, luxurious interiors, and cutting-edge technology, offering a truly lavish experience on the high seas. Rabdan, MBZ's private ultra-luxurious floating palace, is definitely among the highlights. This 240-foot yacht is a testament to the Sheikh's unwavering taste and affinity toward the nicer things in life. The yacht boasts 15 cabins that can accommodate up to 40 guests in a heaven-like setting. The Rabdan, however, is relatively cheap compared to the flagmen of this ultra-luxurious fleet. The yacht costs approximately $60 million, but still boasts a swimming pool, beach club, and several jacuzzis. Compared to Azam, however, Rabdan simply can't hold a candle. It belonged to Sheikh Khalifa, MBZ's brother and predecessor to the Abu Dhabi throne. Measuring an astonishing 590 feet, Azam held the title of the world's largest superyacht upon its launch, a record it had until the introduction of Dilbar in 2016. Its sleek exterior design, crafted by Italian studio Norte Yachts, showcases a striking silhouette that glides through the water effortlessly.
Azam's interior is a true marvel of luxury and refinement, designed by French designer Christophe Leone. The abundant living spaces feature a harmonious blend of fine materials, exquisite detailing, and contemporary styling. With a capacity to accommodate up to 36 guests, the yacht offers a range of lavish amenities, including a large swimming pool, multiple jacuzzis, a gym, a cinema, and a spa, ensuring the ultimate comfort and entertainment for those on board. However, what truly sets us arm apart is its remarkable speed and performance. Powered by a combination of gas turbines and diesel engines, the yacht boasts an impressive top speed of over 30 knots, 35 miles per hour, allowing it to navigate the open waters swiftly. As you can imagine, this boat costs more than a few yearly salaries here in America. In fact, most people will never manage to earn the $50 million this boat costs annually, let alone the price of $600 million for this astonishing marine vessel. Despite its imposing presence, the Azam is not the star of the Al Nayan yacht collection. This honor goes to Sheikh Mansour's 482 feet long topaz. This $450 million marine gem is instantly recognizable due to its sleek exterior design. Topaz boasts an array of luxurious features and amenities, making it an opulent floating palace. The yacht offers accommodation for up to 64 guests across six decks, with lavish staterooms and suites that exude sophistication and comfort. The interior, designed by Terence Disdale Design, showcases a fusion of exquisite materials, tasteful furnishings, and meticulous attention to detail. Among its standout features, Topaz boasts a large swimming pool, a jacuzzi, a cinema room, a helipad, and various outdoor lounging and dining areas. The yacht is also equipped with a gymnasium, spa facilities, and a conference room, catering to both relaxation and business needs. That's what you get for having less than one trillion. If you wonder how a family with more than one point 5 trillion lives, look no further than the Al Saud family lifestyle.